Hey guys, today we are going to pretty much continue where the last part left off. Uh, we are here on our <laughs> on our new island voluntarily, apparently. And this thing keeps beeping at me, so we're gonna see what's up. Nook Miles, you're enrolled in Nook Miles program to earn, oh, earn Nook Miles for completing. Uh, okay, we already know all this stuff. We know how it works. All right, okay. You traveled a long way just to move to our little island and you enrolled in Nook Miles program. I didn't have a choice. So you earned your first miles. There are lots of ways to earn miles by just enjoying island life. Yeah, don't know how I feel about that. But it's cool. Oh, that's all we got. That's all we got. Then we got all this other great stuff, which, you know, I really want to try this out. Use this service for an emergency situation on the island where your path is blocked and you're stuck. Ooh. You'll be sent to a place such as your home or resident services. Nook miles are generally required to use this service. Call the rescue service. Now we're good. <laughs> okay, I was just curious. So, um, okay, what is this? Eh, open. Nintendo. Oh, this is where we get it. Okay, thank you for downloading the update. We like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Oh, so this is how we get the switch. Okay, I I goofed on the last part. I thought that we get it when we first. It doesn't matter. Congratulations on your big move. We hope your new island life to celebrate a fresh star will give you a gift that will come in handy. What else do they give you? All right, so let's just go in the tent so I can tell you guys the story about this game that I didn't get to tell you in the first part because time really did slip through my fingers. So. We'll just go outside and I'll tell you the story instead. <laughs> Actually, I could turn off the radio. I don't know why I'm thinking I can't turn off the dog on radio. So, story time with me. Let me tell you guys. <gasps> Wait. I love pondering. Why do I always gotta play the good song when I'm trying to tell a story? Okay, I'll turn it off. It's not like we're not gonna hear it again. So basically with this game, if you guys want to skip, I will try to remember to leave a timestamp where you guys can like skip this whole story part so y'all can just like see the rest of the gameplay. <laughs> so with this story, I my initial game that I pre-ordered got lost in transit. <laughs> so what had happened was I pre-ordered this game back in February, the same time when I pre-ordered my Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch, right? And I bought my Switch from one company, but I bought my game from Amazon because I haven't had a problem with Amazon like pretty much at all. This is my very first major big problem with them. And um, so I didn't even think twice on getting the game from there because like I said I never had a problem long story short pretty much um it was the final week before Animal Crossing was supposed to launch and the whole entire time Amazon no first Amazon said that my game was going to come on a Tuesday so I was like okay cool and which was wasn't really expected especially considering like how everybody is living in the world right now so I was like, okay, fine. So then the following day, they said that it was going to come on Friday, which was launch day. So I was pretty excited, but I was a little bit skeptical still. And um, so I keep checking pretty much every other day, like how the package was doing. Because on Amazon, it was just kind of frozen. Because by either Monday or Tuesday, it said that it was shipped. And that it was going to arrive on Friday, which once again was launch day for Animal Crossing, March 20th. And I still couldn't believe that it said that it was going to be here on launch day when they initially told me it was going to be here on a Tuesday. 
So once again, long story short, again, um, I checked Amazon Thursday, the day before launch, and it still said that it was going to come on Friday, but they said that it was still in Louisville, Kentucky. And I'm just like, okay, it's definitely not going to get here like on launch day because it's in Kentucky and I'm in a whole other state. Like I'm literally up north, right? And so, well, west, but whatever. And so, um, but I still have faith. I said, okay. So I checked Amazon site and I checked UPS site because it was like the whole thing was just kind of frozen in Louisville, Kentucky. And mind, this is Thursday. This is the night before launch. Okay. So it's still saying that it's going to be here on Friday, but it's still saying that it's shipped and that it, it is in Louisville, Kentucky. It hasn't said anything saying like it's on its way. It's just said it was shipped. So Friday came, it was midnight, Animal Crossing happened, the whole internet blew up and I'm going back on Amazon, Amazon's not saying anything, I went back on UPS, UPS isn't really saying anything, so I said it's fine, I have a few hours before it really matters and so I woke up the later on that Friday because I was basically watching like streams and YouTube videos about Animal Crossing and I woke up that Friday I checked my computer and then Amazon said that, okay, your package is going to come on a Monday instead of that Friday, which I wasn't surprised about, but I was like, okay. So I went on UPS. UPS said the exact same thing, like expect your package on Monday. Why was I checking both UPS and Amazon? I honestly couldn't tell you because I've never really done that before. I've only, I've only, only checked Amazon tracking pretty much. So... So then I noticed, I think I went there later on that Friday or early that Saturday morning. And then on Amazon, it said that my package will be probably more delayed. Because mind you, it's still saying ship. It doesn't say on this way or anything in between. Like it's not giving me any updates at all regarding my game. So yeah, that's that. So here I am like, okay, well... They're still saying it's coming on Monday and it's fine. I can wait till Monday. I can wait till Monday and I'm excited, right? So Monday comes and it finally moved from ship to being on its way to being out for delivery that Monday. It said all that that Monday. So I said, okay, cool. My game is coming. My game is coming. My game is coming. UPS gets here to my house. And I can hear him on the phone and it was taking him a long time to like deliver my package. My, I'm sitting here at the window looking at him like, can you please hand me my package? I want my game. He walks to my door. Long story short, he walks to my door and he's still on the phone with his company, right? And he places the package down, ring the doorbell and like quickly leaves. Still on the phone, okay? But I heard him say like there's nothing in it. I heard him say that, but I'm not thinking he's talking about my package. I think he's talking about just something in general. So my mom grabs the package from the front door and she is like, is this your game? I'm like, yeah, it's totally my game. So I'm running down the stairs to get my game. She said, there's nothing in here. And I'm freaking like, wait, what? I said, no, there's got to be something in there. And I grabbed the package and it was literally an empty package. There was nothing in there. My game was not in the package, you guys, at all. And so I looked at the package and I noticed it had like a little gap, but the gap was more than a little gap. And I was just like, no, no, please do not tell me that this package is open. So my mom and I are looking at the package that's in my hand at this point. And so far the UPS guy, he kind of was like driving away, but we're still thinking that the game is inside the package. So I opened up the package and it was completely empty. It was like a white Amazon, um, shipping package and it was just clean open and it was either somebody stole my game or they didn't package my game or something so I called Amazon I called UPS and both of them are telling me that there's nothing they can do pretty much UPS swear up and down that well your package was delivered it said it was delivered I said well, it's not my problem my problem is my package is not here 
only the shipping package is here. And so Amazon said the exact same thing. Well, you have to contact Nintendo if you want like a brand new game because I guess they're talking about that I can't give them something without something in return. I don't know. So basically, I just pretty much filed a claim between both UPS and Amazon. But right now, I'm kind of out of my money and my game. So it was just drama all the way around with this game. And... It wasn't even in my possession. So I just decided to pretty much just get it digitally, which I started to do a while ago. But I was like, I don't really want a digital. There was my switch. I don't really want like a digital game. Oh, OK. I said I didn't really want it like digitally because I like physical copies because if my Wi-Fi is out, I still want to have that option of playing with my game even if the power do die that's not the point <laughs> look at my little switch ain't he cute is this kk birthday oh how adorable leave on how cute so yeah, there goes the switch you guys i like my little lamp in my radio i wish this wasn't camouflage but i guess it'll do for right now so yeah, that was the drama between this game. Um, I definitely filed a claim with both Amazon and UPS because I was pissed off at both of them, but I, I'm i more pissed off at um, UPS more than anything because, I mean, not UPS, I'm sorry. I'm more pissed off at Amazon because it's like, my package wasn't even properly sealed. Like it was just wide open, so. I just, like I said, I wrote all this on Twitter. I just basically said, I hope that whoever has that game or whoever took the time to steal the game, I really hope that they needed that game more than I did. And, you know, I hope that they enjoy it and just have a better time. That's all I can really do because there's nothing that I can do because my package isn't here. So, yeah. Oh, Missy, it's great to see you. That campfire was a lot of fun. We're keeping residence services open at night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything. For the time being, I'll be out and about checking in with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what you should do, don't hesitate to stop me for a chat. Okay. So let's go talk about, I mean, talk about, well, yeah, that too. Let's talk to Tom. Cause he said he has a few things to tell us. Ah, Missy, welcome, welcome. As you can see, it's quite cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable. Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island or anything else. If you need some advice, advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help you procure some of the essentials for thriving in our little paradise. And if you want to learn, earn some bells, he has a rather generous policy of purchasing just about anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous. Yeah, because you scammed me on this deserted island vacation. Oh, one more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop that can help you really build out your island experience. I think it will be quite useful, so I hope, so I do hope you take me up on it, hmm? All right, Timmy. Welcome, welcome. You don't waste any time, do you? We're still setting up, but for starters, we intend to offer a small selection of goods for our island residents. Space is limited right now, but we'll try to have some fresh stock each and every day. I'm sure you're busy, but feel free to take a look at some of the items we're thinking of selling. Great. <laughs> a cardboard box and a toolbox. Oh, I didn't go here my, on my other island. Huh. Why would you sell apples? Anything catches your eye? We're not just sellers. We also buy things from you, including stuff gathered on this island. 
and because we want to support efforts of beautifying the island, we'll even pay you a little bit in return for any weeds or tra oh. So I don't have to pay like, I don't have to pay to throw away things. Cool. If you want to know whether we'll buy something, just ask. Sweet. Oh, how could I forget? Yeah, you forget a lot of things, Tom. Um, I should give you a brief explanation about that terminal. That is our Nook Shop. It's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life. At the moment, you can use two services, Missy. The first is Nook Shopping. It's a catalog shopping service for items that can be hard to find on an island. Second, this terminal serves as an automatic bell dispenser or ABD for the Bank of Nook. Yo, Tom has, he set us up. He having us pay his debt. We're also working on a service by which you'll be able to redeem, oh, please do. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed. So day one, we get 50 free miles. Let's go shopping with nothing. Oh, look at the bike. You can get the switch. You can also get the ammo crossing switch too for like 10,000 more bells, I believe. Denim caps, more shades, high tea, tie dye tea. Oh, look at the rainbows. Look at KK. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. I like my little outfit. Look at my shoes. Okay, so now that we know that, we should be able to read this DIY thing, right? Okay, I probably have to talk to... No, I probably have to go to the workbench. I think. And look at him with his soda. I don't have a soda. Ah, I see you discovered my DIY workbench. Yes, yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY uh, recipes. I think it would be quite useful for island life, huh? So I shall put you down for the next available session. I'm the only one that's here. Yes, yes, that's the island spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment, so let's get started. Yeah. Welcome to my DIY workshop. Oh, I suppose workshop is overselling it a bit. When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and then craft it using a workbench like this one. So today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials that you'll find anywhere else. For this particular recipe, we require a mere five branches. It is admittedly a little flimsy. Now then, come see me once you collected the materials. My throat is dry. I need some water. Okay, how many do you need? You said five, right? Okay, to begin, just select a project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead, give it a try. Okay. Let's do it. A flimsy fishing rod. Yes, yes, that was perfect. As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipe. Oh, I need this pillow. And that concludes my free DIY workshop. Oh, there's just one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you, free of charge, naturally. Not really. I'll just need to send them to your Nook phone. Would you mind opening it up, please? I'm trying to get comfortable, y'all. <laughs> if you guys hear a noise, it's just me trying to get comfortable. But it's not working. Splendid, thank you. The DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use anytime. And the flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while at least, because it's free. Speaking of fishing, I am no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips. In my experience, you should aim in front of the shadow of a fish when you catch your line. 
I would love to see anything you manage to catch. I'm quite curious about the local fauna. I looked that word up. What does fauna mean? Well, since we're here. Uh, okay. Sweet. I learned a DIY recipe. Goody. Switch you over. There you go. So we got that. Now we got to talk to our villagers and see how they're doing. And one thing I've noticed with, um, hi Hamlet, how you doing buddy? I can't catch anything. So one thing I noticed with digital that honestly is very, very annoying. Our villagers will pretty much glitch out. Um, Hamlet's going to be there probably all day. For whatever reason, when it comes to water, like the beach and the rivers, and the lakes that they're used to, they're, they just kind of stay there. And it's annoying. It's really, really annoying. Hey, Canberra. Yo, Missy, I'm getting a real good vibe from the tent plot you picked for me. Thanks for the hand. We've got to look out for each other. If you ever need anything, don't be shy. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about how to thank you, and I came up with a recipe for a leaf umbrella. Alright, so the first thing I thought when I got here was, now that's a lot of weeds. That's kind of where I got the idea. It's a DIY project that uses weeds. Think about it. Weeds are the most abundant natural resources we have. May as well use them. Okay. Island togetherness. One of the goals of Nook Inc. is Residence Togetherness, our generous greeting incentive aims to award you with Nook Miles just for chatting with the residents. Try to talk to all your neighbors every day. Well, Hamlet is kind of glitched right now, so I can't really talk to him because he's still busy fishing. But yeah, that's the one thing I don't like about digital is they get really glitchy really quickly. Let's go talk to, ooh, I got the blue one, cute. In my other island, I have the uh, yellow airport. And I will probably show you guys that island um, one day, no time soon though. Hmm, hang on a sec, how'd you get in here? Could have sworn I locked the door, it, it wasn't locked, honey. Uh, doesn't matter, we're still getting set up in here, so there's no flights today. Sorry about that. Should be open for flights tomorrow though, so be sure to come back then. You are cute. This make you want to fly. All right, let's go see if Hamley got unstuck. I can't wait for them to do an update. Yeah, see, he's still glitched out. And I can't move them or move him. It's so annoying. I kind of, it's okay, it's fine. Ooh. Hi, hello. All right, so Tom wants me to pretty much fish, I think. So fishing this game is definitely, uh, a little bit different than in New Leaf, but I kind of like it at the same time though. Only thing with these fish is like these fishes, they be wiggling like out your way. Like, see what I mean? And they're a lot quick, girl. They're a lot quicker. Look, see? They're very stubborn. Okay, you gonna turn around? You're not going to turn around, are you? You see what I mean? I like the whole entire time this fish turned around. But they're definitely a lot more aware of like the bob in this game than they were a new leaf though. Oh well. But yeah, they're very much more aware um, of the bob than they were a new leaf. I will say that, which is ugh, amazing. Because, <laughs> oh my goodness, I 
hated the fact that they would be sometimes like the Bob will be right there in front of them and they would not see it. You're right here by the water. Just toss the thing. And our first fish will be the sea bass. <laughs> it will be the sea bass. All right. But all in all, like this game is honestly first impression, stunning. Just stunning. I really want to know, like, how have you guys been enjoying this game so far? Because I know, I'm sure by the time, like, whoever's watching this, you're going to be pretty, pretty far ahead of me, that's for sure. Because, like I said, I'm still in the beginning stages of everything. Sorry, kind of got to listen to the fishes as you're fishing. I caught a bluegill. So yeah, so for me in real time, it's actually like almost 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> and um, I just basically changed my time. It's still Tuesday, but I just changed my time because, yeah. <laughs> just because like I wanted us to play in the daytime. I didn't really want us to really play you know, like in the dark. Especially not the very first episode, you know, I just realized what that could have been. That could have been a surgeon. A sur- Yeah, a surgeon? That's what that little fish is called? I just realized that. That's probably what it could have been. That's like the quote-unquote mouth of the river. Where the river and the ocean meets. Oh, well, it's okay. It's not like it's not going to respawn, but it's a pretty darn rare respawn too. So I'm just really going to take this game pretty slow. I'm not going to rush into it. Because like I said, this game isn't a game that you can rush through, really. Please see the bobber. Please. Thank you. See bass? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna take this game really, really slow. I really wanna know, like, what's your island's name? What's your character name? Did you name your character after yourself? Um, how'd you come up with the name for your island and character? Who'd you guys start off with? <laughs> I know I asked the same question in the last part, but I just really wanna know. I really do wanna know. And I'll leave. Oh, come on. You're not that far from the water, girl. Why do I... <laughs> I keep getting nervous. I think because my mind is still on the fact that, like, somebody really did steal my package and I'm highly upset. I just can't help but to think, like, out of all the times and all the days... Somebody decided to steal something from me. They decided to do it with Animal Crossing. And of course, you know, with the whole social distancing thing, a lot of people are not even at work. So uh, it's okay. I keep trying to tell myself, like, there's nothing you can really do about it. But just keep saying that hopefully somebody else needed that game more than you, apparently. So Animal Crossing made bank off of me already. <laughs> but it's okay though. Okay, so let me just put the fishes like at the end. Cause I'm not sure if um I think he needs like five fishes to start off with. Oh I have five. Okay, boom. I'm curious to know though if like I know he said it won't count towards the museum but I don't know I don't know how that's really gonna work 
I have to recatch them again and then like redonate them to bladders again or will Tom Nook just kind of give them to bladders? I have to reread that dialogue. I can't remember exactly how that works. And I'm not shaking any trees right now. I probably should I don't think I could have shook them when I was in the tutorial part of this game. Because I didn't want bees to chase me. <laughs> and the bee music is so stressful. This is relaxing though, just picking up weeds. I guess I could have told you guys my story when I was picking up weeds, but I think I would have got so mad I would have ripped out a tree. Let me just get these few. So you guys see how like Hamlet is literally glitched to this water? Honey, okay, okay. If that's how you feel, then that's how you feel. It's fine. Tom, I caught critters. Do you want to see? How much stick do I have? They only have two, I think. Yeah, I only have two sticks. Yikes. Yikes, oh yikes. Dynamite. Ah, uh, Missy, hello. What did I talk to me about? I am all ears. I found creatures. Okay, so I can turn them in right now. Cool. Oh, Splendid, let's have a look, shall we? You have looked five times. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a loach. Um, if this island can support a loach, why, who knows what other fantastic creatures it might be living? Missy, I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum and I'd love to send to him for a closer look. Would you be okay with that? Of course. Thank you. I promise I'll take extra good care of your roach. As you put it somewhere. Oh, that reminds me. This is in no way tied to your generous donation just now, but I have a useful app. Excuse me. I have a useful app to show you. So to kind of soothe my like aching heart and my aching bank account, I made myself a strawberry daiquiri with lots of Cool Whip and uh, yeah. <laughs> I sent you the Critterpedia app. It's a terrific resource for an inspiring island researcher such as yourself. With this one app, you'll get all the important details about the bugs and the fish you catch. I do hope you'll continue to fill it with your discoveries and share with us. I didn't read the last part, sorry. I'm sure I'll be able to come up with some kind of additional work. Oh my gosh, no, you're a jerk. So my first island that I've made, um, I forgot to give him the rest of the creatures that he needed. And so the following day, I'm expecting Bladder to like be on my island. And uh, he wasn't there because I didn't give Nook all five of the critters. So that was, that was a fun thing to find out today. It just completely slipped my mind. I did exactly what I was just about to do just now. I walked out the tent and I just started to like, what? Have you taken advantage? I have. And I just started to just like pull weeds and catch more fish. <laughs> and then I put them outside near where I want bladders to be. And it was just, it was just a mess. Is that so? Well, I suppose I haven't been paying much attention. Yeah, you've been too busy drinking beer. I mean, soda and reading your book. That reminds me, I've been meaning to share more DIY recipes with you. My turn on your phone. Yo, his phone is like supernova. I just sent you a number of a D I just sent you a number of DIY recipes that requires wood, along with a recipe to craft an axe. Yes, yes, I think an axe would come in quite useful on this island. Because so many other things are made of wood. I hope you'll bring me new discoveries to examine. It's all part of the island experience. Oh, Nook, I got so much more for you, buddy. So yeah, I think that I do have to catch all these fishes again so I can properly donate them to bladders. Oh no, I need one more. <laughs> Cause I caught two sea basses. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a sea bass. Of course. <gasps> oh! I've given you red pansies. Huh. So he can give you random flowers because in my other island, he gave me red tulips. 
Anyway, give it a whirl and if you enjoy gardening, stop by and buy more. You see how he just like tossed that in there? I hope you keep bringing me new discoveries to examine it. It's all part of the island experience. Oh, remember the flower sample I gave you? I forgot to mention something again. The flowers that grow will be very strong. They'll spring up even if you just plant them and forget them. Oh, cool. Uh, but if you water them each day, that's where the magic happens. Watering opens up the possibility of pro propagating and crossbreeding your flowers to develop rare colors. Mm-hmm. And now I might... Oh, and how you might water them, you ask? I didn't ask anything. Well, I've just sent you the DIY recipe for a watering can. My accountant warned me about giving this sort of thing away for free, but you can let the creatures for me. It must be Isabel. Isabel has to be his accountant, right? I hope you'll keep bringing me new discovery to examine. It's all a part of the island experience, yes, yes? It only makes sense because if you do Isabel's tutorial, she gives you the watering can. Have a nice DIY. Nook Inc. will award Nook Miles for the number of DIY recipes you've collected. Think about that. You're earning for learning. <laughs> oh boy. Nook is a con artist. Okay. Um. Yeah, we need one more fish to donate two bladders. Look, he's still glitch over there, you guys. This is why I don't like digitals. That's not what I'm meant to do. You are a very beautiful bass. There you go. I love the fish tank in this game. They did a really, really good job with the fish tank though. I'm still mad and line this up properly. And I knew I did it, and I knew I didn't. That's why I purposely did Canberra the same like I did Hamlet's little tent. But I believe that you can move them. Yeah, that was totally a surgeon that I, ugh, that I screwed up all because that will be my first fish too. I like to like, you know, get warmed up. You know what I mean? Ugh, ugh, it's horrible. Yo, where's the fish? There we go, I'm about to say, where's the fish at? <laughs> You're right there by the water, come on. Yeah, I like to get warmed up before I try to catch like a rare fish, whoa. These fishes look so good. Oh, we do have all of Founder. I thought they were gone already. And we can only catch the dab. I'm gonna keep this one because I think the all of Founder is a little bit rarer than the dab is. I believe. Okay, so you got a big tank too? Okay, that's fine. I feel kind of bad because they're like staring off into freedom themselves. <laughs> but little do they know they're going to be trapped there until ladders come because they're not ever getting out. Alright, here we go. Oh, it could be another sea bass. Or an ore fish. I'm sure it's a sea bass. And all fine. Okay, cool. We can just give this to Nook. Oh, God. Oh, no. Thanks for your service, faithful flimsy. Why do I like torture myself like that? I don't know. 
trash tools. Using the tool until it breaks is proof of your hard work and praise of your good deeds. You're getting nook miles based on how many tools you've broken. This is definitely a whole lot better than meow coupons. Like this game just gives everything like a purpose to be there. Whereas like the previous game, it just didn't seem like nothing really had a purpose besides just spinning bells or earning bells. I mean, just after a while, after a while, of course. Cause New Leaf is still like a solid game. Just, you know, it didn't hold my attention all too long after a while. Yo, where's my place at? Where's, where's Nook? Where you at Nook? Okay, I'm getting close. <laughs> I gotta get used to this. Okay, so I have your fish. So we can have bladders. Ah, Missy, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I am all ears. Okay, here you go, Tom. Take it and leave it. Mm -hmm. Of course. Do anything you want. Okay. I need to move this cord. <laughs> Sorry you guys keep hearing that noise. I keep kicking the cord with my microphone. Because I'm resting my foot on it, but then I like move my toes and it just kicks it. Yeah, anyways. Blatters, is that you? Oh, what splendid timing. Yes, yes, do you remember the venture we discussed? Well, it's come to fruition. I'm currently stationed on an island that we've decided to call Gemini Sea. Yes, yes, the local faunas are as abundant as expected, just as I told you. Huh? How many precisely, you ask? Well, there's no way of knowing just yet. This guy is talking too much. But I received, let's see, five outstanding specimens so far. What? Seriously? I got off the phone. Well, that's very exciting. You're talking too much. Oh, but you know what? You have to excuse me. I'm with a cousin right now. I gotta go. Bye. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. That was my friend Bladders, the one I talked so much. I mean, the one who carries the museum. Believe it or not, he's going to come to our island to help us identify and preserve the local creatures. Uh, but I could use your help, Missy. Since you've done so much scouting and collecting already, would you be able to help find a spot for Gladders? We'll need a good sized space to really build out a world class museum, so do keep that in mind. This is exciting. It's all coming together. I mean, I guess. <laughs> all right, Gladders, let's find you your space, homie. There, there you go. That's gonna get annoying really quickly. Bladders, I think, will go pretty good right here, honestly. Yep. It feels so good to not have Isabel like telling you, no, you can't put it there. <laughs> Sure, you can put it there. Blatters can set up his place now. Cool. So we've unlocked Blatters. I think that would be a pretty good place for it to be, right? And it's like right there by everything. It's right here by a beautiful river. So anybody that can visit can see where the fishes have come from. Okay, you guys ready for this? Cause I need more sticks to um, get a net. And I need to get um, another fishing rod too. Oh yeah, I need to do one more thing before I completely forget. And that is to I guess I could plant the flowers too. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. 
Oh yeah, I forgot about the tent. Right, okay. Oh, uh, Missy, I take it you found a suitable spot for bladders to set up, hmm? I did. It's perfect. I knew I could count on you. Thank you. I'll let Butter know that he can move in as soon as he wants. In any case, you just got here, so I hate to see you push yourself in one day. Don't worry, Tom, I got this. But it's no far off my nose if you want to rack up those nook miles and pay me back quickly. You... <sighs> Tom... I got a few tips for racking up the old Nook Miles. So the, he got tips to get his currency, but he don't have tips to get bells. See, see what I'm saying? This is like a one-sided relationship here. Like, there, this is a one-sided relationship. He's not down for us. All right, Tom. What's the goal here with your Nook Miles? Are you going to tell me something different? Oh, you like to pay your movie fees? Well, you owe 5,000 miles, so let's talk when you've had a chance to earn a few more miles. But there's no need to rush, trust me. Enjoy your island life and save up those miles. Okay, so he's not really going to tell us about the miles. Oh, silly me. I totally forgot. Um, I need to give you a brief introduction to the box there. Because Timmy looking like, uh, excuse me. This is a recycling box for all the island's residents to use. You'll be using it for items removed during construction and such. Yes, yes. If you see anything you like, feel free to take it right on home. If the box gets full, we'll get rid of it. The oldest, we'll get rid of the oldest items first. So don't delay in picking out what you want. Ooh. I'll claim that. I'll claim that. That too. And you write that one as well. We got sticks. And we got a cardboard box. But we got sticks more importantly. I think I only need five. Because I think I might want. You know what? No. I think I need. Well I think I need five or six. Okay I need five each. Because I want this. I just need five more. To get the fishing rod. Okay, I'm done. So yeah, I think I need just five more for the fishing rod. But I really don't want to shake these trees, but I have to. Come on. There we go, can I get five? Nope, just four, okay. You can sometimes get five um, sticks from a tree. But that has to be like a really good day, I'm guessing. Okay, that's it. Uh, and I love how the money just goes straight to your Bells account. I don't have to pick up anything. Is that five? I cannot see. That's seven. Okay, good. So I can get the... Um, so what you call it? Come on. The um, fishing rod. There you go. <laughs> Had a brain fart. Look at you. You guys are just so cute in your little uniforms. Why are you so cute? Oh, we can also get this. That's right. We get the flimsy axe too. Oh, let me get the fishing rod. I feel like the fishing rod and the net is a little bit more valuable than the flimsy axe at the moment. Because when we shake these trees, I gotta make sure I have a net on me. So that way, um, we just don't get stung. I don't want to get stung. I don't. Ooh, does shell stack up too? That's awesome. Didn't I know that was a thing? I, I really want to get these weeds, but I'm going to get those pretty much off camera. Because I don't want to bore you guys by pretty much picking weeds. Come here. Yo, we be swiping the bugs out the air though. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, Sergeant, can you please come back? Dang. I could have been done with that fish. 
I am disgusted with myself. Um, hey, ooh. Do you guys think this is the ore fish? Let's find out. I doubt it. I think it's a sea bass, but how am I supposed to catch this thing? Because she can't go that far out. Yeah, she can. Get everything I just said. Yeah, thank you. Just stay right there because you're at a weird angle. Okay, or fish. It's not or fish. Because I hit that too late. <laughs> I'm actually am pretty surprised at how easily you can kind of get the or fish in this game. And also the tarantula, to be honest. Um, I'm pretty shocked. And my dog is coughing. My poor baby. My dog is like going on 12 years old. So she's getting up there in age. And um, she's starting to really show like old animal symptoms pretty much. You know what I mean? And it's a little, I don't know. But yeah, she's my, she's my old fat queen. Did you clap for me? Thank you. Hey, Canberra. So since Hamlet is like stuck over there, can you like give me something? Let's chat. I kind of got her on the wheel and I'm not sure I bought enough bells with me. Yo, did you not see what Tom did at the fire? I'm telling you, Canberra. Like you hear a desert island, you think you're not even going to need money. Tom must have wrote her that letter. Um, I heard I can get Belle selling fruits and weeds and stuff to tempt me if I had do that. Maybe that'll be right. Or I'll be alright. Mm, maybe. That's why you don't give business people fire materials. Because somehow, somehow you just be with an idolized bill and you have no money. Just saying. Just saying. Saying. Okay, I'm gonna try to catch this fish real quick and then I'm going to probably restart this game. Then I'm going to uh, restart this game. I think after every fourth attempt, uh, they automatically bite down on the line. Just so I can like get Hamlet away from the dog on river. We basically got no points for fishing. <laughs> for fishing of 10 uh, fishes, pretty much. I don't feel like reading it. My throat is like killing me. Um, and I think maybe I'll probably fish for, this, for the surgeon fish. I'm probably mispronouncing that fish name too, but <laughs> I think it's a surgeon fish. I believe this is like his last week for it to spawn. So uh, I don't want to wait a whole year to catch a fish. Do I already have that butterfly already? I do. Okay. So let me just stack these up really quickly as we um look around town. Where is my thing at? It's gonna take a while for me to get used to finding <laughs> this area. Um, okay, so we need to put, I don't wanna show it off. No, and you're looking the wrong way. Place items. Look at the fish tank. This fish tank just looks so good. It makes you want to get a fish. IRL, I really don't want one IRL, but I'm just saying it just makes you want to get a fish. I could put you. Okay. I can sell you guys to Timmy. I wonder if you can make, um, Make the little, I want to call it a locket. It's not a locket. A little musical box thing. Yeah, with the large clamshells. I wonder if you can make those still. Timmy. I 
want to sell. Those, those. These shells look amazing though. What is this? A cardboard box? Mm. We'll keep it for now. Okay. Wait, I have a DIY uh, thing. What is this? Oh, the leaf umbrella. Okay. Uh, okay. Sweet. All right. I love Nook Miles. You can basically get them for anything. Hooray on your first sale. Down and out. Ooh. Selling things you don't need is a great way to keep down the clutter and earn a few extra bells. And in this case, a few extra miles. Hooray for your first sale. Awesome. So let me just kind of get out of here real quick and um, see if I can reset Hamlet away from the river. Wait, he's gone. <gasps> he actually got away from the river. Okay. Very high. Yo, Missy, that spy you found for me is just incredible. Thanks. I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have buddies. Oh, right. I've got something here for you, Hammy. Thanks again for finding a place for my place. Yes. <laughs> that mesh cap, okay, is perfect for Gemini C. You can try it on by pressing the button to open up your pockets, then press that button to select the items that you want. Choose where if you want to put it on. You can always change later if you need to work out. Thanks, little dude. Totally want to wear it. Oh, cool. You know me. Hey, come, come here. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Are you going to get it? Oh, I messed up. I'm sorry, Hamlet. Oh, get it. Get it. Oh, he's not going to get it. I guess because I need to show him how to do it. That's how you do it, Hamlet. See? I call it yellow butterfly. Shouldn't all butterflies be yellow? Sorry, Hamlet, I took your catch. I kind of ruined your concentration there, buddy. I feel a little bad. Hey, Canberra. How you doing, girl? Hope you're okay. There we go. All right, you guys, I'm actually gonna end this part right here. What I'm basically going to do off camera is clean up our island, get some materials, craft a lot of stuff, and uh, basically just do all the basics that I need to do. So yeah, I will catch you all in the next part. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Please give a thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new, and comment down below on Basically, some tips on how to pretty much get bells. <laughs> um, I know it's not too, too difficult, especially like your first loan. But um, yeah, maybe somebody might need some more tips and, tri tips and tricks on how to earn bells. I know I am very open to tips and tricks. So yeah. And uh, you guys can follow me on Twitter. I do have a Twitter account. It's always on my banner and it's always linked down below in the comment section. And that way we can like see each other's islands and everything. I think that'd be really cool, right? But thank you all so much for checking out the video. And I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.